Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be checking out the Laser Pecker Pro. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I do wanna thank Laser Pecker for sending this product over to me for review. And I really do thank you guys for actually allowing this channel to make it to a point where I could reveal cool gadgets like this. The gadgets are what really impresses me sometimes because I just love this stuff. This product is available right now. So if you are looking to buy it, I will leave all the links down in the description below. There are different tiers. So I'm gonna go through those as well. And at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you guys what I'm actually using this product for, which I think some of you guys might think interesting. So yeah, let's get started. To start off, we're gonna talk about tier one, which is their basic version. And this is the box right here for that. You actually get the head, which is the laser, as well as the tripod, and then all the connections that you go with it, like the USB adapters and everything, and also these really cool shades so you don't hurt your eyes. Now, moving up to that, you get the suit or tier two, which is included with this thing. This is the auto height adjustment kit where you get this one press and it'll adjust the height to wherever it's supposed to be because you do need to be at a certain focal length, which is 200 millimeters, just to have that laser etch into those materials. Uh, doing it with the tripod, you can. It's just a little bit annoying because you would have to manually measure the height and adjust it as you go. And then they have the deluxe version, which includes this thing. This is like a little UV lighting shield so it don't hurt your eyes. And to be honest, I wouldn't even recommend getting this one because this actually limits the range of how much you can etch. But as you can see the picture, this actually surrounds the laser etcher, which means you only can etch anything within that square. So if you're gonna do anything bigger, you're gonna have to not use it anyway. So that's why I wouldn't recommend it if you don't really need it. The last but not least, which is the super version. And the super version is the version I don't have, which comes with a carrying case just for the laser. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys how to operate this thing. And I found it to be super easy. I didn't even read the instructions. I just jumped into it and see if I could figure it out. And I mean, it is so easy. Now you do need an Android or iOS phone and you need to download their app. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, first we're gonna start up their program which is called the Laser Packer. It's already saying that you need to start it with 200 millimeters. Now this laser is not started yet because if it's running, it's gonna be super loud with the fan. So what I am gonna do right now is actually go through all the settings and turn it on later and show you guys the operations of it. I do have another camera right over here so I could zoom in on what I'm talking about. To start off, we're gonna use examples. You would choose whatever they have. You could use your own images later, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. Or G-code actually, if you, if you have something for that matter. But I'm gonna go into images and go into their logo, which is the laser pecker uh, logo. Now they want you to set the size and you can set it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna set it to 15 millimeters. And this is where I'm gonna start like turning on the thing. So you're gonna hear this kick on. And I don't know if you hear that now. You hear the fan? The fan is blowing towards the thing so you don't see the smoke coming out. Now, once I turn this on, there's a button, a little play button. This will actually adjust the height for the first use. And whatever distance it is, it'll automatically adjust it. So now I finish adjusting the height and I am gonna actually turn oh well that's already powered on so i'm good i'm gonna hit start preview and it's gonna try to connect to this laser packer so i'm gonna click on the one bluetooth connecting now it's connected and watch what happens i could actually hit start preview oh I, it needs my password and you could see it actually lines out where it's gonna etch i hope I hope that camera's picking it up, but you could see a little blue square that it's gonna etch. So now you could adjust to wherever you want the paper to be. Or if you wanna show center point, it'll actually show you where the center of this is. So I'm gonna actually just leave this wherever it's supposed to be. Continue preview. And then I'm gonna hit quit preview again. And now I'm ready to etch because I already got the spot where I wanna etch in the paper and the material and whatever. Hit next. It's gonna transmit the files to this device and it's gonna ask you what type of material. Now this is just paper, so I'm gonna choose recycling paper, and you can see how much they have. Bamboo, leather, wood, cork, and each one has a different settings. Um, acrylic, fruit peel, and custom. So yeah, I'm gonna use uh, recycled paper because that's what this is. Continue, the power is at 100, depth at 70%, and how many passes you wanna do. And because it's so easy to set up, you can actually set this up for like four or five passes and make it even deeper cut if you wanted to. So now I'm gonna hit start, and there we have it. It's etching away, and you can see it's gonna be quick because it's small, 15 millimeters, 
and I could see how fast this actually operates. And I'm hoping my second camera picks it up, which I think it is. You could see how fast it is just cutting through there. And obviously, I shouldn't be looking at it because it is a laser, and I should be wearing those glasses, but I think it should be okay for now. It's not that powerful. I have a 40 watt laser in my garage. That's the one you want to try to avoid. So after what? This is 35 seconds, 36 seconds, I finished etching. And now I could engrave again or go back home. And here is the result. Now that's what I mean by simple operation. Now I'm gonna go in and uh, flip this paper and we're gonna try something else. So now what I can do is actually go to albums. I could go to my gallery and in my laser pecker folder, I actually have a couple of things like my Nova Spirit Tech logo. So I could just grab this one. If I need to adjust it, I could adjust it by grayscale, but because my logo is just black and white, I don't really need to do anything with it. I'll just hit okay. Now you can see the full design. I'm gonna hit next. And here you can wanna do the size of the logo or whatever you want. So I'm gonna do like 15 millimeters again, start the preview and kind of get the whereabouts of where I'm supposed to etch this in. And you kind of see it now. It's laying out with the blue laser. I'm gonna quit the preview and try this next. And now that everything's caught up, this is my own custom picture that I put in. I have the recycling paper settings, hit start. And there you go, it's gonna start etching right into it, my logo. And there it is. You see how it just etched my logo? Here's the design of it. And that was pretty quick for a 15 millimeter etch right into this little recycle paper thing. And using this application that they come with, it's so easy. Like there is really not much to it to using this. Now you could actually check all the history documents, laser adjustments, stuff like that. But now I'm actually gonna show you why I got this thing and what I'm actually gonna be using it for. So give me one second. So here I actually have a tool and as you can see, it's all rusted. I don't know if you could see it this way, but it's all rusty because I left it outside one day. And according to a couple of videos that I've seen online, you could actually use a laser to remove rust. And I, I completely believe that. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is actually take a picture of this and I'll show you how easy it is to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna grab, jump into my camera, get like a pretty good image of this, like so. And in here, I'm gonna hit okay. Now you could see how I have all the black layout. I could actually change this view a little and kind of grab what I need, which is somewhat right around here. And then I'm gonna hit next. And I should actually measure this out to see what size it is and how I would etch it and uh, the width of the actual pliers. But what I'm gonna do is actually skip this. I was just actually really showing you an example. So what I'm gonna do is actually just take a picture of the table, hit okay, use the G code to swipe it all the way to the highest amount that you can. This way it would be all black. Okay, hit next. The size I'm gonna do is 15 millimeters and I'm gonna start the preview. This way I don't have to worry about adjustments. Now in here, I'm gonna adjust to see where a 15 millimeter is. And you can see how I'm just kind of just trying to move the pliers to that spot. Perfect. I'm gonna do a height adjustment on this guy and this will automatically go up because it, it senses how far it's supposed to be. And quick preview. Let me double check this height because what I'm gonna do is just, it's not level. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that seems more like it because it was actually hitting the hole. Now I'm gonna get it a good focal point. Hit next. File transfer, recycle paper. I'm actually gonna change this to custom. Confirm, make everything 100%. Start, and it's gonna grab this and check this out. It's gonna start etching it. And this light is much brighter than what it was before. And it's a lot slower too. So I'm gonna let this run and we'll see it at the end of this if this actually worked. So there we have it guys. As you can see it from the little guy over here on the right, 
it did do an impact on it. It did remove the surface rust, but it still has some sort of pivots. I don't know if I can show you right over here as well. It's kind of dark, but you know what? I'll get a uh, close-up shot in a second just to show you guys how much it cleaned off. Now, like I said, it still has its pivots, but it actually removed the surface rust enough for me to see what's going on with it. I do have a lot of tools that are starting to rust and it's in hard to reach places where I can't just get like a whiz wheel in there or something just to remove the surface rust. So I'm actually gonna be able to use this to get into those little harder spots just to remove it. And yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I wanted to play around with this so much. It's because I could now do stuff like this and it's in a portable form factor. Now, as far as the size of this goes and how much it can etch, it's basically the size of the platform a little bit smaller. And I'll leave all the specs up here so you can see how, what the millimeter size is. I don't have it memorized. But yeah, that's the size that you can have actually etch. And because I don't have the physical cage or this like protective shielding, I could put whatever I want in here, a laptop, a book, whatever it is, however big it wants it to be, I'm able to actually slide it in there to uh, use that laser etcher. Anyway. That's it for me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.